Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Dragon Ball Super, Chapter 64. Um, yeah, Son Goku Galactic Patrol Officer. Okay. Um, also, sorry for any background noise you may hear. I have no control over it. Uh, but yeah, so we got the Galactic Patrol. They're en route for the Moro fight, if I remember right. We've got Weird Head Commander there. It it's kind of feels like... We just lost something important, huh? Oh, they're thinking of Miris because, yes, he did die. Uh, but he did leave a nice parting gift by destroying Moro's ability to copy from uh, 7-3. So, yeah. It's like the, w the winds are blowing on the battlefield. W why? Is Agent Miris really dead? And what is this... Is Goku about to have a heart attack? Like, what is this ba -dum, ba dum Goku, you okay? I learned another important lesson from Miris. Oh yeah? And what would that be? That I'm not fighting alone. Okay. And Beerus is over there. Well, let's see it, Goku. It is immense. But can he properly control his emotions? I was saved by Vegeta, Dende, too, and in the end I made Miris give up his life. Oh, okay, so Agent Miris is really gone. But he didn't do it for me. He did it for our universe. Okay. So is he about to go, like, f frickin' full-on Ultra Instinct? Because, like, that mention of, like, keeping his emotions intact and everything would make sense, right? Okay, he's breathing in, breathing out. Can I ask you something, Jocko? Why'd you join the Galactic Patrol? Uh, that's your question? Do we really have time for this? Come on, tell me. I, well, um, I wanted to help preserve peace in the galaxy, duh. Also, the universe, the uniform is just the awesomest. No, that is not a word. Um, right. Mares felt the same way. Right now I'm a galactic patrol agent just like you, so protecting the universe is my duty too. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Uh, though he's not official, he was just kind of like deputized for this battle. I can't let Moro have his way with our home. Curse you as he flying out of the hole that he was in. Or, not a hole, but on the ground, regardless. You and your insufferable techniques. Stand back, Jocko. And it's like, oh? Where did that Miris run off to? Miris doesn't exist anymore. Which means that beating you is my job. You? Just still spouting that crap? Miris may be gone, but his will lives on in me. Okay, and he's powering up? What form will he take? <laughs> I mean, at this point, he has so many damn powered up forms. It's like, <laughs> what form does Goku take? Uh, anyway, let's see here. So, uh, Moro's just kind of waiting. Jocko's kind of like, ah. Uh -huh. And is he going Ultra Instinct? Full Ultra Instinct? I don't know. But good lord, just everything is just pulling up in, to the sky now. Look, look who's that? It's Dad. He finally ready to do this. Okay. And uh, Miris and we not Miris. Um, Beerus. Uh, Beerus and Weiss are watching. Seems to be going well enough. Yes, it would appear so. We are about to witness Ultra Instinct perfected. Even though that makes absolutely no sense right now, he barely has a full mastery over signs, so I call bullshit on this. Um, now, if he can only use it for very short durations, that would at least balance things out better, but not completely. Uh, but anyway, Moro is kind of like, oh. <laughs> and it's like, okay, everything calm down. The ground stopped rumbling. I don't feel a thing. It's so quiet. It's as if those storms a second ago never happened. Oh, he, he, he has gone white-headed. Um, yep, there it is. Still weird with that hole in his chest. Wh what now? What's that form? S silver hair? New color in my book. 
Okay, and he's slowly walking towards Moro. Moro's kind of freaking out, which is interesting. And what? Is he anticipating an attack? Because he looked like he kind of dodged out of the way of something. S stay back! And he's... Oh! His energy charging did not do anything. And Goku just kind of like... Flash step. Grabbed his arm. You won't harm the earth anymore. And he tried to kick Goku. But Goku easily dodged it. Going for a punch. Dodged that too. And he just kind of like... Bah, bah. It knocked him away like... Good lord. How? How did you do... You worm. Okay, fly and... You know you can't hit him right now, can you? You would think he's like, what, ten, over 10 million years old. It's like you'd think he would learn, but no. Or would have had some inkling of what's going on here. But, uh... Okay, so it's just a... Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> and Goku's just casually, like, do, 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 dodging it all. More... Of the wop 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 wop. Yeah! Uh, goes in for a kick and Goku just like whoop! Mum or uh, what is it? Limbo! I almost said mumbo for some reason. <laughs> uh, okay, kicking, he's dodging it. And this is like the most just like I say thing, he does thing. Same thing over and over. God damn this fight. Okay, let's see here. He's fine-tuning his moves more and more. Indeed, he is. Okay, so nice commentary, but it doesn't add as much, sadly. Um, let's see here. So Moro goes in for a big attack, but he's gone. <laughs> so, yeah. But how did you... How are you dodging like that? Not thinking. What? My body's acting on its own and deciding how to dodge. Which is why your attacks can't hit me. It's like... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, acting on its own, you say. Stop spouting nonsense. Okay, he's powering up. Powering up a lot. Y yikes. Uh, that's more of th This time, he's charging up to full power again. Draw! <laughs> Are his horns getting bigger? Or is that just the way... It, the angle, maybe? Okay, all steamy now, all of a sudden. Um, it could be dust, though, as well. Okay, Goku's kind of like... Whoa. And here comes Moro with the ram charge. Goku's ready to catch him. And what is going on? Is Goku using telekinesis? Huh? This is Shock Jocko. And even Beerus and Whis are kind of looking on like... Did, did we know that was going to happen? <laughs> um, uh, uh. And Goku's like ready to, I think, slam him to the ground. He's holding him up and... Oh, no, no. He, he just moved him right over the top of Goku. Or, or over the top of himself. And then just jumps up and then... Boom! Sky uppercut. Um, and Jocko just kind of gets knocked away. God, that was quite the impact then. Um, Whis and Beerus are just kind of like closing their eyes and turning their heads because it's like, I'm not getting dust in my eye today. Ooh, the shockwave. Like, good lord. That has to be like the strongest freaking punch that has ever happened in the series that I'm aware of. All the way to the freaking watch tower. Or the lookout tower? Watch tower. Um, this isn't freaking Justice League, you idiot. Um, the whole earth is filling this shit. Like, it's just kind of like ebbing its way across the earth. Good lord. And Moro looks like he's about to cough up a cookie. Um, and Goku's just kind of still there in the air, just like... Yes, you fly off the planet now. And Whis is just like, Ooh, look how high he is. <laughs> Perfectly done. Oh, a rare bit of respect from you. Respect where it's due. Ah, oh, The way he fights is godlike. Uh, 
Lord Beerus, Weiss, you guys are here? You're just now noticing them? Like goddamn. Don't stop now. Finish the job so we can eat. I mean, I'm sure Goku would like to have a good large luncheon, too. Um, okay, so Mora has landed. Okay, that is some bloody guts. Not as bloody as I thought it might be, given how what kind of force you were putting behind that, apparently, Goku. Um, you realize now that you can't beat me, right? He's, like, clutching at the ground, like, trying to stand up. He, he got up. Gah. Oh, he, he staggered and fell. Are you starting to understand the pain and suffering of everyone you've killed? Do you get how that feels now? S silence! How dare you assume to lecture me? Or presume to lecture me? Y you must think yourself a god. No, I think myself as the guardian of Earth. And then Dende's like, That's my job, motherfucker! <laughs> uh, but, uh, no. This, I do not fear divine power. I am Moro, consumer of worlds. The gods' creations are mine to devour. I am this galaxy's supreme life form. Yeah, now you have a cell complex. Hmm. Hmm. First you were basically like Demon King Piccolo, now you're Cell. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. Um, and also you have about as many transformations as, as freaking Frieza. So it's like you're like all the the best villains or some of the best villains of the whole franchise just rolled into one, which is good and bad because we're getting a little repetitive, but also it's fun to see these attributes all in one person again, you know, because Cell kind of had it, you know. But he was the last character to have all of these attributes, so yeah. Okay, he is a he has making little geysers everywhere of energy. He's just gonna drain the earth dry and be like, "I will kill you with your own earth's power." Well, well so uh, Jocko's having to dodge. Whether this planet lives or dies is up to you or up to me. Well, I mean, it could be up to Goku if he doesn't kill you in time. Um, which would serve me better? Think hard on that. Okay, a geyser's about to hit Goku. Nope, that was actually Moro himself. Okay. And Goku just kind of like back kicks him. <laughs> He's like, I'm kicking you like a goat. You goat man bastard. Or a donkey. Man, donkeys kick with both legs. So with goats. I don't know. I don't know what kind of kick this is. Anyway, um, sending him flying. Spit out a little blood. And, oh, he got, he's bathing in the geyser now. I hope that isn't going to be absorbed by him. Um, he kind of fell over. And, oh, that's magma and lava. <laughs> he's on a little island of it now. You're done, Moro. Earth isn't your plaything anymore. Oh, one of his horns broke. Okay. You care for this planet to that extent? Oh, he also lost an arm, I'm realizing. Okay. Um... Then my next act will be to consume it. And Goku kicked you again. Goku, why don't you just keep kicking him up until he can't, you know, suck on Earth's nutrients anymore. You know? Um, he's now in a cave, and the cave just crushed him. <laughs> well, um, help me. Hmm? What'd he say? I said, help me, motherfuckers. Please don't kill me. No, kill him. Kill him, Goku. Uh, it's weird how Goku, like, when he was a kid, he was killing people fucking left and right. It seemed like. Especially during the Red Ribbon Army, you know, arc. But, like, Goku as an adult, either he, like, really mellowed out and doesn't want to kill characters. But this is one you definitely need to kill Goku. Um... Hey, Jocko. He was sentenced to death, yeah? Huh? Y yeah, he was. So, do you mind doing the deed for us? I see. Oh. In that case, oh. So he's like, nope, I can't be a Galactic Patrol anymore. I have to kill him as a, a, a full-blooded warrior. Let me fight him as an Earthling from here on. Huh? What does that mean? Symbolic! Um. Oh. 
Has he gone and quit the Galactic Patrol? <laughs> he's just, just <laughs> Beerus is like, huh? What? Why would he just rip his shirt off? Um, oh, my lord, you haven't seen Goku's previous fights, have you? You were asleep. <laughs> he's like, he likes to tear his shirt off in every fight. Hmm, interesting. Should I tear off my collar and be shirtless too when I fight? You can if you want, my lord. <laughs> Who's going to stop you? Damn straight, Whis. Um, <laughs> why did I go into this tangent? Um, anyway, I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, don't we all? But, I mean, Moro doesn't seem like he's able to do much against Goku. As long as Goku doesn't get emotional, which probably he's going to like fade in and out of perfected ultra instinct um which then will just show that he doesn't have his full control over his emotions because he'll be fighting for you know his planet at this point which is definitely going to be a bit more um personal and then emotions will probably start bubbling to the top and he'll just kind of be phasing in and out and moro might be able to get in a good shot here or there but like Moro, to be honest, seems like he's almost done. I mean, he's lost an arm, or most of an arm. He's lost a horn. Not that the horns were doing anything, but Goku has him mostly on the ropes. So if Goku kind of finishes him off quick, I could see this battle ending possibly as early as next chapter. But if uh, Goku gets emotional, eh, this fight probably going to go on for upwards to maybe five more chapters, I'd say. So by chapter 70, this fight should be done regardless. But, hmm. Or maybe by the end of the year. The end of the year would also be a good mark to the end of this. But we, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Um, but yeah, I, I do like that Goku kind of like had that symbolic like union with mirrors. You know, of like, it's like, I fight as a galactic patrol to protect my galaxy, my universe not just my planet anymore you know kind of deal like that that was nice and then hit that being like what set him over the edge of like for the greater good he controlled his emotions to perfect um at least for the moment like i said we're kind of skeptical on this of like how long he can maintain perfected ultra instincts so that that's its own thing um i suspect that it's not truly perfected it's just he's able to obtain the form but just like sign he's not going to be able to keep it forever um but yeah i do like that and also the fact that he's now wanting to fight as an earthling to kill moro because the galactic patrol eh, like they would have sentenced him to death but i don't think jocko could have done it and who else is there that's of the galactic patrol so yeah, so he kind of had to do it this way, even though, why did he even have to, you know, take off the shirt? But this is Goku we're talking about. But whatever. I do like that he wants to end this as an earthling and not as a patrolman, so I guess we gotta give him that. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. Anything that I missed or misunderstood, please let me know down below. Um... Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Links down below for all my social medias so that you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, quichelings, will Goku fuck all this up? Next time on Dragon Ball Super. Dun-dun-dun-dun.